although introverts make up about one-third to one-half of the population. Research has shown that people with this personality type often report that others do not seem to understand them. There are certain myths and misconceptions that people generally have about an introvert. Most times, these wrong notions make people act weirdly towards them. This attitude displayed towards them eventually makes many introverts to be ashamed of their personality and attempt to be who they are not. In this video, I will be sharing with you 10 things introverts want you to know. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel for more awesome videos. 1. Being reserved does not mean they are shy. People sometimes make the mistake of assuming that just because a person is quiet, it also means the person is nervous. It is essential to understand that there is a big difference between introversion, shyness, and social anxiety. Introverted people are not necessarily ashamed to talk to others. Although some introverted people experience shyness or social anxiety, it is a different case on its own. Introverts tend to be more reserved and calm. They prefer to get to know a person before immensely getting themselves in a conversation. They are likely to understand their audience and prepare for speeches before stepping out to speak. Introverts typically don't enjoy a lot of chit-chats or small talk, but they are certainly not shy. So, the next time you notice someone quiet, don't assume that they are nervous or afraid of talking to others. They are just reserved. 2. They are not rude. Introverts can be quiet when you meet them at first, especially when they have not had any form of conversation with you in the past. Because of their calm nature, people tend to perceive them as proud and arrogant. Before you interpret this initial reserve as rudeness, reflect upon personality and interpersonal styles. An introvert might simply need to get to know you better before they feel comfortable and willing to open up to you. 3. They don't have low self-esteem. Another common falsehood about introverts is that they are quiet and reserved because they have low self-esteem or lack self-confidence. This misconception can be especially problematic for introverted kids who are always pushed into awkward situations they don't want to be in by adults who assume that socializing is the way to boost the self-esteem of kids who are perceived as shy and insecure. Introverts don't want you to believe that reserved people lack confidence or self-esteem. Self-esteem and self-confidence issues most times stem from experiences, and even extroverts can have such problems. When an individual receives constant feedback from older adults and peers that something is fundamentally wrong with their personality, they might start to question themselves as a result. 4. They don't need help. In our society today, a lot of people treat introversion as something that needs to be overcome. Many introverted students report that teachers and other adults often compel them to do things they find uncomfortable or overwhelming in a bid to fix them. For instance, a teacher may pair quiet kids with the most extroverted kids in class for group assignments with the justification that they're too quiet and getting you out there more will help you get over it. But introversion isn't something to get over. Extreme shyness and social anxiety are the problems that need to be addressed mainly if they result in significant distress or impairment in a daily life. Even so, such cases should be dealt with compassionately and professionally, not through force or in a manner that might hamper someone's creativity. In all, introverts want you to know that introversion is not a problem that needs to be helped. 5. They don't hate socializing. They just don't want to do it every time. Introverts often get a terrible stroke as people who hate to be around others and want to stay home under the covers all day, every day, and still in the bedroom. This isn't true. Not all introverts hate socializing. And not all introverts are terrible at conversations. It's just that introverts generally don't like to mingle all day, every day. They need a break after a while, to refresh themselves. Introverts are not boring people. They can act silly, crazy, be noisy. Only that they like to save the best energy for the right people in the right situation. Even as reading and discussing a book with a few friends can be considered fun for an introvert, reading a book in a crowded room full of people is not so fun. 6. They are not naive. They don't just want to be the center of attraction. Most introverts don't like all eyes to be on them. It can be challenging to speak up at a work meeting, deliver a speech, or answer a question in front of other people, especially when it is impromptu. Introverts typically like to listen to other people's perspective and hear what they have to say. It doesn't mean they don't have an opinion, but they don't just want everyone's attention to be on them. 7. They get irritated when they are interrupted. One thing you should know about introverts is that they don't like to be interrupted when they are thinking, talking or doing something. For example, an introvert may not find it funny if you visit them unannounced or badge in on them. Introverts are deep thinkers who are often very serious and get very much into whatever it is they are thinking about or doing. When introverts get interrupted, even if it seems like what they are doing is not something important, 
It's often quite jarring. Introverts want you to be respectful of their space. 8. Wanting to be alone at times is not personal. The most significant distinction between introverts and extroverts is that introverts gain energy from being alone. After being around a lot of people for an extended period, introverts need time to themselves to recharge and feel more relaxed. Being around tons of people for a long time drains introverts. In fact, they probably do not talk to their close friends daily. So, when an introvert does not agree for that visit or a long phone call, it is not because they have something against you. It probably has more to do with the fact that they like to be alone for periods. Being alone allows introverts to sit back and think about things. Eventually, recharging themselves makes introverts better friends because it gives them the energy they need to show up in their relationships in a meaningful way. 9. They are not angry or depressed. They just want to be alone. When an introvert feels overwhelmed by too many people, they often need a little quiet time and solitude to recharge. A typical introvert can excuse himself or herself from a party or gathering before it ends. Unfortunately, people sometimes misinterpret this desire to be alone as a negative emotion, such as being angry, depressed, sullen, or anxious. Countless times, introverts get to hear statements like, come out of your room and stop sulking, when they're just really trying to have a little quiet time. For extroverts, who might not understand the meaning of solitude, a person wanting to be alone might be strange. Whereas introverts might be surprised to find that other people interpret the need to be alone as anger or depression. 10. Everyone must not be an extrovert. Due to the pressure many introverts face from people who believe that extroversion is the norm, they tend to force themselves to become who they are not. A lot of extroverts will go out of their way to make their introverted friends be more like them. They'll try to coax them out of their shell by telling them that being social makes a person more likable. But one thing they fail to understand is that everyone must not be an extrovert. Imagine everyone out there is loud and all. Who will be the writers, inventors, and all we see today? Several kinds of research have shown that most of the world's creatives are introverts who got their ideas in their alone time. The bottom line is that trying to persuade a person into being who they are not will significantly limit them from reaching the heights they are meant to be. Let introverts be themselves. Once you understand these fundamental things about introverts, you can learn how to communicate better and that's always a good thing because you will ultimately enjoy having them as friends.